going to talk today a little bit about something that maybe you're familiar with. Um, as Pastor Rafe has been preaching on the Gospel of Mark. So when we read the Gospel of Mark, it begins by the whole description of miracles. Jesus is performing miracles along the way, but when we get to Mark 4, 26 through 29, the focus changes from miracles to ways that Jesus actually helped us, his followers, to understand his kingdom and the spiritual world. To do this, Jesus would, of course, speak in parables. He took these wonderful illustrations, these objects, and made them come to life with real life lessons. He would use physical, actual physical things like planting seeds to help us understand something really spiritual. Yesterday was a really exciting day for us. Our second truck of pumpkins came. And, and as it got delivered, you know, everyone worked hand in hand to pass the pumpkins and set them tenderly into the pumpkin patch. And we all worked together. Watching relationships being built was the most special part of yesterday. Gathering folks from all the neighboring churches, communities, um, school children, their parents, clergy, leadership, everyone gathered to work together. That's, after all, what church really is. Even a, a Boy Scout troop was here with all of their members, all working together, the hands of Christ. When I was strolling through the busy pumpkin patch yesterday, I thought of the parable of the growing seed in Mark 4 chapters 26 through 29. Jesus said the kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows. But he doesn't understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First a leaf blade pushes through, then the heads of wheat are formed. And finally, the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle. For the harvest time has come. As I looked to parallel this with the pumpkin patch experience, I saw in it two really important perspectives. The first deals with God's role in spiritual growth of people. And the second perspective actually deals with our role in the spiritual growth of people. Jesus begins this parable by saying the kingdom of God. I believe that's our salvation. The fact that the crop grows without the farmer's intervention whatsoever means that God can accomplish his purposes even when we are absent or unaware of what he's doing. The goal is the ripened grain. I thought about the short stories Jesus told, and there are many, and many that you know. They always had this much larger meaning, didn't they? I reflected on how in some ways a parable is like a pumpkin seed, or maybe a pumpkin patch. It starts out with this small story, right? But after you begin thinking about it, you realize it's a much, much larger, more important message to tell. We can look beyond the seed. And if we do, just think about it. Look beyond the seed, look past the big, beautiful, plump, orange, and many multicolored pumpkins, even beyond the farmer who harvests those pumpkins, past the semi-driver who, who brings them for us to unload. And if you look at those who help in the process of carefully placing those pumpkins on the grids to be sold, and we actually engage with those who come to the pumpkin patch to pick their family pumpkins, we can surely see the parable come to life, can't we? We may not see the actual ripened grain, 
maybe never in our lifetime even. But I believe we can be intentional about how we serve one another in our pumpkin patch and also beyond. Because the real harvest is yet to come. Let's remember that. Let's put it in our hearts and make it a part of us. When we work joyfully together, goodness surely will follow. This we know for sure. Yesterday, I watched and took part in something so much bigger than a pumpkin patch. It was more about the new relationships we built, the bridges that were being extended, and even the pathways being discovered, maybe not by us, but by others. I would welcome anyone to come stroll through the pumpkin patch, and maybe, whether it's an hour or an afternoon, spend some time there. The smiles are contagious. And you never know, the neighbors that you meet when you're there might very well be a part of your everyday lives one day. Bow your heads and pray with me. Luke 10, 2 says, At the proper time the world will bring forth its fruit, and the Lord of the harvest will be glorified. Father God, we pray that through our actions and words, we can bring love and peace to others. Help us to continue to grow in you so that our hearts can align with Jesus Christ. 